Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Go. Today's episode, we have a lot of eggs to hatch. Got six 5k eggs in a row to hatch, which is great. We're going to start today's episode off with hatching our 10k egg. And can we get something we haven't had before? We get an Electabuzz, which is absolutely fantastic. This is my first Electabuzz. Going to add that bad boy to the Pokedex. Man, I was so happy with this, and the CP is pretty good as well. 1,157, 31 candy, knows Thundershock and Thunder. I was actually pretty happy with this Electabuzz, not gonna lie. Might power that bad boy up a little bit. But next up, we are going to hatch our first 2k egg of the episode. Now, I think I've kind of given up with the starter Pokemon because four 2k eggs in a row, I've been getting Magikarps. And I am actually so happy we're getting Magikarp out of 2k eggs. Because I find it kind of hard to find a few magic carps in the wild. So getting eggs, just gonna add to that magic carp candy super fast. Gonna get that Gyarados almost there. 150 more candy. So uh, I cannot wait to get that Gyarados. Gonna try and get a higher CP magic carp hopefully on the way. I think my highest is 146. The moment I hatch that egg, I get another egg back. As you can see, we got six five kilometer eggs to hatch at once. But right here, went to the city and there was a wild Snorlax around. And I was like, we have to find this Snorlax. Ran absolutely everywhere for this bad boy. Went up and down, up and down. Now, unfortunately, the tracking doesn't exist in the moment. If you live in San Francisco, you probably got the update with the tracking because that's where the beta test and the new tracking system right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it looks pretty awesome. And the Snorlax disappeared and I couldn't get the Snorlax. I was so heartbroken. I was like, why is the... The beta tracking not available to everyone. The tracking looks pretty solid. And I've just lost a Snorlax because there was no tracking. And all I know is that there was a Snorlax near me. Oh, I was so heartbroken. I could not get that. Oh, man. It really, really sucks. Because I have not been lucky enough to get a Snorlax out of 10km eggs. And Snorlaxes are super OP. Every time I battle one, if a Snorlax knows Lick, it just literally wrecks me so hard. It takes like... Four or five Pokemon beat that one Snorlax. Well, granted, they are like 2000 CP, and I haven't even got a 2000 CP Pokemon yet, but man, they were so, so difficult to beat. But next up, we are going to hatch our six five kilometer eggs, and we're gonna get a Machop, which is pretty fantastic because this is my first Machop. Gonna add that bad boy to the Pokedex. Got quite a lot of new Pokemon this episode, which is great. And it's a 591 CP Machop with 18 candy, low kick, and cross chop. Now, that is a lot of candy. Almost got Machoke already, which uh, I actually cannot wait to get. I really want to Machamp in this game. I feel like that would be pretty awesome. I haven't seen one in anywhere. Yeah, I haven't seen any gyms have one. I haven't seen one online. I honestly can't wait to get my own. But our next 5km egg is going to be a disappointing Paris. Ah, Paris, I got you. I don't need you no more. But 506 CP Paris. Can evolve that into a uh, Paris sect. Got 65 candy now. Did not want a Paris. But our third 5 km egg, what are we going to get? A Voltorb! And i got to say, Voltorb in this game looks really nice. Like The colours of it just look super good. It's like the best looking Voltorb I've ever seen in any Pokemon game in my opinion. That looks really good. But 450 CP Voltorb, 17 Candy, Spark and Signal Beam. Seems like a pretty decent Voltorb. But uh, maybe I can find a better one, then we'll evolve that into an Electrode once we get 50 Candy. But our fourth! 5 km egg is going to be another disappointing Paris. We don't need Paris no more. Ah, but this CP is, uh, I think it was one high. I think the last one I got was 504. I think I, I totally forgot already. But honestly, Paris can just go away. We don't care about that. And our fifth 5 km egg is going to be an Oddish, which is really, really good because I've almost got enough to get a Vile Plume. Now, the problem is. I uh, I have a pretty, well that Oddish right there is higher than my Gloom, much higher than my Gloom, so I might just evolve that Oddish into a Gloom, then get a few more Oddish, get a Vile Plume, because that that Oddish right there is really, really high. And our last and final 5 kilometer egg is going to be a Tentacruel, which sucks because we already have a pretty pretty decent Tentacruel, to be honest. Pretty happy with my Tentacruel, and this one is, that Tentacruel really, really sucks. So after we got, uh, hash all those 5 kilometer eggs, I thought I should go for a walk and try and get some eggs because right now all we have is two two kilometer eggs, which we're gonna hatch uh, one of them this episode. 
I thought we should just go for a walk and try and get as many eggs as possible and if something happens I'll just bring it up and uh, I'll show you guys. I'll pop an incense and all that good stuff and right here found a seal from the incense which is really nice and I want to quickly get you guys opinion because today it was an absolutely beautiful day for walking and if I find wild Pokemon in the uh, in the wild obviously. My question to you guys is do you want to see these uh, these captures and like battles as well, I can remember gyms, with the AR on or off because I gotta say with the real life world in the background, it looks really nice, especially because today was such a beautiful day. Usually I turn it off because it's easy to catch Pokemon and sometimes it's quite like rainy and dark and you can't really see very well, but today was really bright, it was so sunny, it was so hot, I just thought today is a very nice day to have the AR on so we can actually you know, see the real life. You can see like the color looks absolutely fantastic and gonna get a few Pokemon which is super good. So let me know in the comments down below, do you want to see the AR on or off when we capture a few Pokemon? Because honestly, I'm fine with both. I think sometimes it looks better with it on and sometimes it looks better with it off. Obviously if we find a high high CP Pokemon, I'm going to turn it off because it's easy to catch. But we found a Magikarp. Now, something really funny is that I've gone down this path and gone down so many times I've never ever found a Magikarp. But I always find Squirtles and today I did not find a Squirtle so I'm starting to think the Squirtles have changed into Magikarp because I found quite a lot of Magikarps today in the wild which is very rare because usually like I said at the start I don't find wild Magikarp but today I found I found a lot so next up I found a wild Golbat which I thought nothing of until I saw its CP and I thought damn that's pretty high cannot believe I actually managed to hit it with a curveball first try I was like that's that's pretty good man that's pretty good and we got the Golbat which is really nice Pretty, pretty decent gold bat. I mean, 1,144, that's definitely higher than the gold bat I already have. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Next up, just walking around and I found two polywags just chilling with each other. I was like, you know what? These two polywags, I am going to get you both. Because we are so close to a polywrap, it is unreal. I, I think maybe like if I hatch one more egg with polywag in or I capture like two two more polywags, I will, uh, I'll get a polywrap. Now I have the same problem with uh, Poliwag as I do with Oddish. I've got a quite high-end CP Poliwag, which I feel like if I evolve it, it might be a higher CP than my Poliwhirl. But then I kind of want to get a Poliwrath right away. So I'm not too sure if that Poliwag will be stronger than the Poliwhirl. So I don't know if I want to wait until I get enough candy to evolve a Poliwag straight from Poliwag to Poliwrath, just in case the, the one I do evolve is a stronger or weaker one than my Poliwhirl that I can just always Go for the other one straight away and guaranteed a Poliwrath. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Like, Poliwag, uh, Gengar, or oh, sorry, Poliwag, Ghastly, and Oddish. I have the same problem with all three. I am so close to getting the final evolution, but I might be able to get a higher CP Pokemon. And like I've always said, I want to focus on completing the Pokedex, but the higher CP Pokemon is always, always so, so tempting. So. We're gonna start heading back and we're gonna hatch our two kilometer egg, which we started the walk with. As you can see, there's my progress with the eggs. Got a few already, got a lot of that two kilometer eggs, got two 5Ks, which is really nice. So let's hatch this two kilometer egg and what are we gonna get? Another Magikarp, which is so good because we're getting the Magikarp candy. 272, got so much candy today, it's unreal. So close to that Gyarados. Cannot wait to get a Gyarados. And there's our egg uh, progress again. Just going to quickly put this in the infinite incubator so we can uh, get that. The reason I haven't put the other eggs in the incubator is yet because I wanted at the same time like I did with the 5 kilometer eggs. That way I wouldn't get disappointed if I just hatched one egg and it's not what I want. That way I can hatch like 5 eggs and be disappointed with like one or two of them and potentially get something I really want. So that's what I'm doing right here. But here's, I got back home and there's all the eggs I got. So I got quite a lot of eggs, a lot of 2Ks, a lot of 5Ks. I've got a 10K, which is really good. We're going to try and hatch that for next episode. And one thing I want to quickly do is I have this uh, Pidgeotto, which is quite a high CP Pidgeotto. It's 701. That's the highest like Pidgeotto I've ever had. I think it was like a 360 or 70 Pidgey. Then I evolved a Pidgeot and then went like really high up. Go transfer these magic cards first and see how much uh, candy we get at the end. Also, let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys actually got a Gyarados yet? Are you close to a Gyarados? Because I would love to know. Because I've seen a lot of people with one and I'm like, damn, you must have caught a lot of magic up. And I want to know if other people in the comments have uh, caught enough because, you know, it, there's a lot of magic cards and I've been trying to find as many as I can. And I wonder if anyone else is in the same boat as me as like you know we're, we're close we're not that close or if anyone's like nowhere near I would just love to know uh, how far people are into it but there you go 701 Pidgeotto for I'm gonna evolve this because I think it's gonna be my highest uh, Pidgeot so let's see what CP this bad boy is gonna be
Pidgeot just looks so powerful, it really does. Such an awesome Pokemon. But this Pidgeot is going to be 1204, that is my highest CP Pidgeot and it's got room for um, some more power and up which is great and those Hurricane and Wing Attacks, some powerful moves, that's a pretty decent Pidgeot I gotta say. But here's my Poliwag, 6701 and I have this uh, Poliwag, it's 434. I feel like if I evolve that Poliwag, it's going to be a higher CP than 671. And I'm not sure if it would be, like I really don't know. So I might just hold off on to, the, well, hold on to these two until potentially I find a higher Poliwag or I get 125 uh, candy. We've got 93, we're so close to a Poliwrath. And uh, the problem is as well, the move sets on both of them aren't the greatest. So I, I really don't know if I want to just evolve them because the, the moves suck. They really do. But that's today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're so close to level 23, 5,000 XP away. Next episode, we're going to hash that 10 kilometer egg, get level 23, and I'm going to be on the hunt for a ponytail because I think I know where some spawn. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.